Hi. Um, I just want to talk to you guys today about um, another psychiatric um, uh, topic because um, some people sort of wanted to hear about that. Um, basically, oh yes, I'm sporting my glasses today because my contacts are drying out my eyes and so I had to take them out. Um, anyway, um, I wanted to talk about non-compliance with taking your psychiatric drugs and um, basically I just wanted to say my own story um, which is probably kind of typical um, I was first diagnosed when I was 16 and I was put in a hospital for like maybe a week and a half or two weeks or something and I was put on medication and got better but I didn't really think there was anything wrong with me, so um, I wasn't out of the hospital very long when I went off my medications. Um, and I like I was 16, so I was like hiding them from my parents. And um, my doctor finally asked me if um, I was still taking my medication. I said no, so he said, "Well, I'm gonna stop prescribing them then, so you don't have to waste them." And then they told, and he told my parents that I didn't need to take them anymore. But um, and then I was off medications for, I don't know, like um, maybe two years or something. And then um, I functioned, you know, fairly well. I was kind of like really pissed off all the time, and um, and I did. I was kind of like depressed and. Um, then when I was in my first year of college, I I started getting more and more depressed, and um, I thought it was just because it was the school I was at, or I just wasn't making friends, or you know maybe I'd picked the wrong school or something, and so I um, I left that college, and and I was also had a little bit of like psychotic thinking that first year in college but not really all that much and then um, I left to move to a different city and then over the course of another year I became like really psychotic and really depressed and everything and I still like held down two jobs and went to school and stuff like that but I was like really psychotic and depressed and um, eventually everything sort of fell apart and my parents brought me back to my hometown and I was put in the hospital again and then for a number of years I went on and off medication I tried different medications and I wasn't I didn't really take my medication that much and then um, I just would quit taking the medications when I wasn't supposed to or um, sometimes I even had trouble getting medication because <laughs> there's my computer it's talking to me again it's 830 in the morning um, <laughs> anyway um, sometimes I even had trouble getting medications because no one could really believe that I was um, having the problems I was having, so I don't know if, like, I was going to the wrong doctors and they didn't believe me and stuff like that, and, um, anyway, so I would wind up in the hospital every now and then, and they'd put me on medications, and then I would leave the hospital and eventually go off the medications, until, like, finally, um, I was convinced that there was nothing wrong with me because, um, well, I, I don't really think I was convinced there was nothing wrong with me, but I was convinced that the doctors were all wrong about me having a psychotic disorder, and, um, anyway, I became psychotic again, <laughs> and, um, I wound up in the hospital, and, um, 
they put me on the medications, but then I went right back out and went off the medications because I was too psychotic to stay on the medications because um, I just didn't, I was having a lot of really strange delusions at that time and everything, so I was just like, life was total chaos and um, I was like depressed out of, my, out of my mind and everything, and so then I wound up in the hospital one last time and I was like sure everybody was trying to kill me and everything like that and um, what happened was they had to give me a Haldol deck injection because I refused to take the medications <laughs> so they sort of like forced my hand and they knew if they gave them to me I'd probably like hide them in my mouth and not take them somehow so um because <laughs> I have done that too like you know hiding the medications and then throwing them away later and stuff like that so um yeah that's how they got me to take my medications was to give me an injection so I couldn't not take them and um that's basically what saved my life because um after that I was able to take the other medications orally so I had the one injection that was the antipsychotic medication and um, that sort of helped me to realize that I needed the medications, <laughs> but I wasn't um, really happy about taking the medication and um, I didn't think it would work or anything like that, so it didn't, it really wasn't a matter of me believing that the medications were going to work so that they worked, it was just like they worked <laughs> because I was like totally against it when I was in fact I was thinking that um, I don't know if I already said this in something else but when I was um, when they were giving me the first Haldol deck injection I said to the nurse you're not gonna kill me are you <laughs> um, because I believed they were giving me a lethal injection of some sort and so I was totally frightened and petrified and she's like no no we're not trying to kill you <laughs> But I thought they were trying to kill me, so yeah, I was totally wrong. <laughs> but anyway, that's my story of non-compliance with medications, and I just have to say that, um, I don't know, the medications when I first got sick are not as good as the ones I have now, so, you know, I'm not really sure how that would have turned out if I would have remained on the medications way back then. I, I probably would have been better, but yeah, I don't really know. And so now I'm just glad that I have the medications and I take them on a regular basis and things work out. And I guess that's it. That's my story of non-compliance. <laughs> okay.